get it done big time in Cardiff, 55 to 23. The All Blacks, their second win on uh, this Northern Tour, following on from uh, Japan. Mills, you're part of the commentary team this morning, up by nine at the, the halfway point, but five second half tries. They really found that, that that other gear that we know the All Blacks have. Yeah, they certainly did. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I thought the the rustiness wasn't quite there. There's a lot of players that came back that hadn't played for five or six weeks. Ade Savia for me was sensational. Um, you know, yeah, there are, there are areas in the game they'll be disappointed about, you know, particularly, you know, keeping the Welsh, you know, in the game. But I thought the physicality that they showed, um, you know, the, 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 the ruck ball and the speed that they got that at, particularly up front, was, was pretty, pretty good, Chelsea. Yeah, definitely. I think that's been the most improved part of the All Blacks' performance is just the physicality. And I just felt like we saw a lot more passion in the boys' performance this week. Um, they were really competitive at every breakdown. They, they were physical, um, making big tackles. So, yeah, look, I, I enjoyed watching that game. And I think, I think the Welsh will be a little bit disappointed by their own performance, um, especially in that second half, obviously, leading five tries in. They did score a couple of really nice tries, uh, one, one, one in particular off, off a scrum set piece, a really well-executed move. Um, tried doing that one in a few teams I've been a part of and never seen it executed that well. So... Yeah, I think uh, Ian Foster and, and, and the group have done an awesome job um, coming off the back of the Japan test to, to get the boys up and humming an, another level. Yeah, and the All Blacks played like a team that had a point to prove as well. Yes, they got the win over Japan, and we'll be naive to think that they don't read the comments on social media and everything like that. And so, you know, they were really passionate, and as you said, the passion was there, and that team went out there to do a job, and they did it. And you know, even on defence, you know, they had some outstanding plays on defence as well, um, and attack, they were, they were exciting. So, look, everyone on that field, really gave everything I think that night um, not that they ever don't but it was just you could see the extra passion and determination you can see the influence that uh, the, the Barrett boys have Mills when they came back in and perhaps last week we saw with, with Richie a bit of pressure off his shoulders last night in Cardiff or this morning because of those those two guys Geordie in midfield and his brother at the back yeah not bad when you got those sort of guys returning but also Aaron Smith mm. you, know, you know he was awesome you know he probably took a lot of heat off um, you know, Moonga in terms of, you know, just him having to concentrate on his role. I mean, the kicking game from Aaron Smith right from the get-go was on point. You know, the chases, you know, he got, he, he got it right, the execution, but also his leadership. I mean, you know, the, the most capped All Black back uh, in the history this night, and that was pretty evident here. You know, the, the way he scored that try is a penalty advantage, but he took his opportunity to almost round the back of the, you know, time or the clock in terms of how he played. But you're right, you know, Confidence comes from those guys outside him, um, the experience that they have. Um, and Moonga sort of, you know, he, he really sort of, you know, took the game by the scruff of the neck. And that's probably what we didn't see against Japan. But we, we really see some nice fluency within the All Black game plan, the, you know, the, the defensive effort. You know, the Welsh didn't really threaten them as much as mm. possibly they would have wanted to. Um, and probably the one downside is they probably let them off the hook, that the All Blacks when giving away the little small penalties when they didn't possibly need to. But... They just looked, you know, really, really solid in terms of, um, you know, how they... And, and, and it showed in the scoreboard as well. The direction too, Charles. Uh, you know, they, they played a lot more direct this week, as, as Mills is sort of alluding to. Um, the way they wanted to play the game, they stuck to their guns, and as we saw in that second half, they were outstanding. Yeah, I think uh, what I loved um, from Aaron Smith in particular, obviously, became the most capped All Blacks back ever, but he, he's he... I, I felt like he went back to... The way he he runs around the ruck as well, he he, he has little darts and holds those first two defenders, allowing um, us to have more one on ones with with players rather than just passing straight from the baseline. And I think we saw him back to his best doing that last night, as well as his um, his running game. He was running there like like he was it was his first cap, and he was young. He looked quick, so. Um, having him playing at his best um, obviously helps the All Blacks. And then Geordie Barrett at 12. I'm a, I wasn't a big fan um, a little while ago, but I'm a massive fan of him there now. He just brings that physicality, that, that, that directness, but he also offers... Um, a very uh, diverse kicking game at, for a 12 as well. Taylor, uh, Dalton Papalili looks like a kid who's been given five bucks from his parents and says, go to the shop and buy yourself some lollies when he's on <laughs> I the... thought you were going to say some hair dye. <laughs> well, he's obviously <laughs> bought some hair dye as well, but he... Oh, yeah, he's he... gone Super Saiyan mode, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> he's just been absolutely outstanding and he's playing like someone who has been starved of game time in that black jersey and he's really relishing um, and been given this opportunity. He does his mahi, you know, as a, as a standard seven. He makes his tackles, he contests at the right time but he's also really explosive on attack and he offers something different so he's also a danger ball player like you know we see Artie with his outrageous dummies and things like that uh, Dalton's not really doing that at the moment you know he could progress his game like that but you know we saw that brilliant break that he did early on in the
the match. Um, I just think he's outstanding and he he's really stamping his mark in that seven jersey. But also all the loose forwards, I think, played really well last mm. night. Um, and it is going to be a really tough battle. You know, we look ahead to next year and I think, you know, this is where guys really need to stamp their mark and say you need to look at me for that World Cup squad. And equally, going back to Chelsea's point around um, that midfield, I think Geordie Barrett was absolutely outstanding as well. And I think he may be what we need there because it's almost like that dual playmaker role, you know, because he's, he's played fullback. He can play anywhere in that back line. And having that is really special. Just touching on that loose trio again, uh, Charles, uh, is, uh, is Dalton your starting seven for the rest of this tour? And, and indeed, I mean, he's got a great opportunity here. I know uh, Sam, Sam is home injured, but a really wonderful chance to stamp his mark because it's, it's about the balance of that back three and the loose as well. Yeah, look, you said it, it's his opportunity. And I think, you know, obviously with Sam being at home, Dalton's going to want to take this by the neck. I think I think he should be the starting seven, and I think he deserves this opportunity. Um, and he's going to want to create some headaches heading into the World Cup next year. When you've got Sam coming back from injury, um, a few other good sevens putting their hand up, and they will continue to put their hand up in Super Rugby as well. But Dalton knows if he puts his hand up in these next few games on this tour, he's going to um, put, put Fozzie in a bit of a selection to, um, with, with his captain coming back. So I think... Dalton deserves a start and he needs more game time. He hasn't had a lot of game time in the All Blacks, so this is the perfect opportunity. Well, the man with the master plan uh, behind this All Blacks forwards performance, uh, the resurgence since that Ireland series earlier this year, is Jace Ryan, and he caught up with Goldie after the test in Cardiff. Well, Jason, just, just your assessment of the performance, particularly from your front eight and the reserves off the bench. Yeah, I think we um, overall we got better as the game got on, you know, like... We talked around just because the roof's there, not not overplaying and thinking there's all the space. And obviously the sprinklers went on last night, so the ball was quite slippery. But I think that sort of set us up for probably Scotland a little bit next week. Still a couple of late hands, they sort of killed our line out a little bit. But overall, I think when we got direct and in the 22, like I think the Fords really rolled their sleeves up and really got some quick ball. In regards to the work defensively as well, though, it, it, you've got found out a little bit in the first half in terms of that ability to roll away. And is that just maybe adapting to the game in the Northern Hemisphere? Yeah, I think so. You know, they, they sort of played quite tight, but then they do a couple of late carries out or switch out the back, and it, it just got us. We just bit a little bit early, but you know, it's a great thing for us to review and, and learn on the way. But you know, I think we can be pretty satisfied um, as a coaching group, and, and the boys should be pretty satisfied with the effort they put in too. You know. Did you get the sense during the week, during the training, that that performance was coming? Yep. Yeah, we did. Like we, we built the week really well, Goldie. You know, we, you know, we know that Japan was messy, and we, look, we weren't our best for that game. But we know that over here we have to be. And as we build in and think about big pitches to World Cups, playing more than Hemisphere teams, we have to deliver up front. We just have to, and that's the message that we really drove. But it's a start for us. That's all it is, really. What is it you talk to about the reserves before the game and prepare them for? And I'm sure there's no premeditated time that they're going to come on, but what are their expectations? What are the clear messages you send? Well, they've got to be ready at any time, you know. The game can shift. You always get a bit of a feel for half-time, how the boys are feeling energy-wise, and we actually look really good as a pack. The boys were all eyes up, and we hadn't, hadn't sucked too much out of us in the game, but then they've just got to come on and execute their role, be ready at any stage, you know, like... We're just starting to build a little bit of depth in our props and our front row boys. You know, you bring Sonny on, Coates did a really good job tonight, and then it can just lift you, and that's what we really want, so we can finish games. Have you had an eye on Scotland yet? Yeah, I have. Had a good look at them uh, Wednesday and also today. So I know um, Fiji gave them a bit of a nudge in certain parts of that game as well, but it's going to be great to head to Edinburgh and really looking forward to um, continuing some momentum and some good form that we've done for this game, really. Just lastly, is there a different confidence level in the group now compared to where you were through the Rugby Championship? Yeah, I, I think so. Like We talked a lot around the Rugby Championships and competition as such, whereas this is just each week you've got to prepare. You know, we talked about bone deep, but you've got to go deeper. Let's go to the marrow, you know? <laughs> Let's go really, really thorough and challenge each other and have a little bit of, you know, Niggle during the week and just make sure the boys are right on edge. So I think we did that quite well, but it's a start to the tour, but you know, it's it's gonna get tougher and harder and that's exciting. Well done, thanks very much. No worries. Cheers, Goldie.